Full self-driving, or FSD in Teslas, still hasn't rolled out yet. Until real soon in 6-10 to 10 weeks, for some people who have bought full self-driving, will receive an update. But what is really going to be in this update, and is it worth the current price? You'll find out next on Tech Device News. Before I dive into all the new features, let's take a look at what is already currently available in Autopilot and FSD. At the time of recording in August, Basic Autopilot acts as an advanced adaptive cruise control and lane keep system that keeps the car centered in the lane. If you bought FSD, however, that unlocks a lot more new features. These include the ability to go on and off highway ramps, make lane changes on the highway, stop and resume at traffic lights and stop signs, as well as be able to sense other obstacles like cones and bins. All of that stuff is included with FSD right now, but what I'm about to talk about is everything that the new update will bring, making FSD real full self-driving, but with an asterisk. A series of tweets from Elon went into more detail on what's to come. The goal of FSD is to eventually never have to intervene when navigating from one place to the next. The first thing to take note of is that Tesla has been working on a supercomputer to train the neural networks. These neural networks have the ability to learn from past moments and improve upon it. This is important because a lot of the unsafe part of driving comes into play when something unexpected happens. Having a robust neural net to train will significantly help out with the experience. Two areas of driving that vary from place to place are road conditions and roundabouts. These are two areas that will get lots of improvement. Large bumps and potholes are now being labeled as such in Tesla's computer, and if safe to do so, FSD will have the ability to maneuver around these kinds of obstacles that a human driver would instinctively avoid. Roundabouts have a lot of weird corner cases too, and if for example there aren't any clear road markings or if other cars aren't following the rules, and many other things. These have also been quite a challenge for Autopilot in the past, but FSD will also add that to the feature list. However, with roundabouts specifically, Elon has said that it will take a year or so before FSD gets good at that. Those are just a few of the new additions that you'll see with FSD, but that's not the entire picture. There are always going to be updates with cars that improve current skills and get better over time. A new reworking of Autopilot is being made as the current edition isn't powerful enough for what's to come next. With over 750,000 Teslas with cameras and Autopilot installed, this is a lot of data that Tesla gets to use to make FSD even better all the time. This is the big advantage that Tesla has over other automakers. They get to use the data from their fleet of cars to always keep improving the driving experience. Remember that asterisk I said at the beginning? Let's talk about the regulatory approval. If states don't allow these vehicles to be driven under full autonomy, it'll slow down the path to full self-driving. All of that is out of Tesla's hands, but as the mileage increases and shows how Autopilot is staying safe, that'll help influence FSD's capabilities even if we must wait a little bit longer for that future. If you liked what you saw or found it interesting or helpful to your understanding of Autopilot in any way, please give this video a like as the YouTube algorithm will recommend my videos to more people and help them out. Also consider subscribing to more tech content like this every week. I'll see you next time on Tech Device News.